Hi everyone, my name is Vina, aka Miss WOC Reader, and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to come at you with a quick video. I often hear a lot of complaints on Twitter and BookTube about there being no good adult books out there, and I highly disagree. I think there's pretty much something for everyone out there, whether it is traditionally published or indie published. The thing with adult books is they're not all in your face. You have to do your research because unlike YA, you're not getting as much of the publisher telling you you have to read this, you have to read this book. I mean, you are getting some of you have to read this book. You see the books that are chosen for the major book clubs, but there's a little bit more range that you have to do your own research to figure out what you want to see. And a great way to find books is to talk to your local booksellers and hear what they're hearing buzz about and what their recommendations are. Um, reach out to your librarian. They're always reading and they have definitely have good recommendations as well. Um, follow people on BookTube, Bookstagram, bloggers, um, on Twitter in general. You'll find, like, if you're looking for a specific genre, follow people who are reading those genres so that they can help you find what books you're looking for. Um, I just wanted to talk about a few books that are 2021 stories, and I read one of them, the rest are on my radar. And the first book is Son of the Storm by Suye Davies Akamboa. This is an African-inspired fantasy, um, and it's inspired by pre-colonial Africa specifically. It follows Danzo, who is a young scholar who was recently kicked out of his university. He doesn't quite fit into society in Basa because he comes from a mixed background and a place where castes are very important. So one of his parents was from a higher caste and one of his parents was from a lower caste. And he looks more like the people who are mixed um, from the lower caste, and that causes him a lot of problems. The adventure really kicks off when he meets this warrior from an area that they thought was just like an urban legend, and she is um, one of what they call like the yellow skin people. She's chasing um, a family heirloom down. It's, it's a very powerful stone that most people have not figured out how to yield the magic of. And Donso ends up helping her escape the city, and he finds out that he might just be the one who's able to use this stone. Now, like I said, it's an epic fantasy. There's just enough magic and adventure. And I believe this one is a trilogy, so there's lots to look forward to. It's an easy read, it's a fun read, both the physical book and the audiobook were amazing. I read it twice this year. And yeah, I can't say enough about Son of the Storm, definitely check that one out. The next book that I tend to have on my radar is one that I have not read yet, but I will be reading um, probably in the month of November, and that is The Donut Trap. And I don't know how to say this author's last name, but her first name is Julie, and it's T I E U. I don't want to butcher her la her name. And it's about a woman who is fresh out of college, trying to figure out life. Which I know a lot of you are looking for stories about people who are fresh out of college, and she is working at her parents' donut shop. They desperately need her help right now. And while she's working there, she kind of reconnects with an old college crush. So it's a romance that I'm really looking forward to. It should be really sweet. And the cover is amazing. The next story that is kind of on my radar is Queen of Urban Prophecy by Ea de Leon. And Queen of Urban Prophecy follows a 20-year-old female rapper. She has a big hit song and she's headlining an all-female tour for her label and she finds out the music industry is not all that's cracked up to be there's a lot of misogyny going on in there and she just has to navigate that environment i don't feel like there are a lot of stories about female rappers on the shelves 
so this is definitely something unique to look forward to. The next book on my radar is Couples Wanted by Brianna Cole, and that one is also a November release. It is about this newlywed couple. Um, they are young and they are open to different experiences. They decide that they're going to try swinging when they meet up with a couple of swingers. And at first everything's cool, they're loving the new experience, and then they realize that this couple is kind of crazy and obsessive. And yeah, it just sounds like a Lifetime movie, and I'm in book form and I'm here for it. Then the um, book that is on my radar is called A Spindle Splintered by Alex Harrow. And it's actually a novella. It's the first book in a novella duology. And it's a Sleeping Beauty reimagining where the main character is 21 and destined to, well, the main character is about to turn 21. She's destined to die at age 21 from a rare condition. And her bestie decides to go all out and give her this Sleeping Beauty experience party. And strange things start happening after she pricks her finger on the spindle. So those are just a few books that you can check out. Um, like I said, these are 2021 releases. Um, and like I said, follow people who have similar reading tastes to you who read adult books. You'll find lots of great recommendations. And share when when you're reading these stories. That way people who are who read the same types of stories can follow you and you can trade recs. So I just wanted to talk about a few adult books to check out and definitely remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you're interested in in reading as far as adult books for the rest of the year. And I will definitely check you guys check in with you guys soon. Bye.